Hello and welcome back to another iGRIS training video. In this one, we're going to go through how to create a project from start to finish and submit it to Shippo. And this tutorial is for anyone with a subscription, whether you're a basic, basic plus or pro. The account I'm using right now is going to be a pro account. So if you're using basic or basic plus, you're going to see some extra functionality. So once we're logged in, we're going to go to the create a project tab, create new project. Before we get started, let's go over why you might create a project. So you can create a project in order to access pre-field research before going out into the field. So surveys and other recorded resources will be available once you start a project and will automatically sh show up in that project area. You can cr also create a project to send to a consultant or to send directly to us at Shippo. We have six different types of projects. We have Section 106 and Section 110 reviews, determination of eligibility, annual reports, CLG surveys, and PA program development. And all of these projects are within this dropdown. We're going to demo a Section 106 project since that's the most commonly submitted project to our office. So in the dropdown, if you're following along, go ahead and select Section 106 review. Okay, so the red asterisks on this page are required fields. So the three required fields that we have, or four required fields that we have, are project name, project type, and lead agency name, as well as the description. So the project name should probably be taken from the project itself. You probably already have a PDF of the project, so you can just copy that. Um, I'm going to call this one Downtown Rexburg Crosswalk Improvements. And the lead agency is going to be the Idaho Transportation Department. Now for this description box, you'll probably want to take the description that you have in your cover letter and put this here. So you can just copy and paste and just keep it below 255 words is all we ask. Um, for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to kind of keyboard smash here um, and then I'm going to hit create. Okay, so here's the project page. And you can see that there are a few blank things that we didn't have the option to submit before we created the project that now we can fill out. And we also have some project attachments and photos that we can upload. So let's hit edit and fill out some of this stuff. Um, so when you're creating a project, you'll usually choose a lead agency reviewer. And we have another video in which we did that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select that lead agency review, but if you want more details on that, you can watch that video. If you have any secondary agencies, you can add those here. If you have an organization project number, this is a number that is related only to either the consultant or the lead agency that you're working with. It doesn't quite matter for us. So if you have something, it's easier for you to find the project with that organization number, you can put that there. Um, if there are any applicable programmatic agreements, you can go ahead and choose those. You choose this one, or you will have a project finding. So you need to select that from the drop down. For this demo, we're going to go with no properties, no effect. If you have any comments, you can write them here any updates you need to make to that description. And if you have a related project number, um, so this little icon here will tell you that a related project number is if it is an update to an existing project that's already been submitted to Shippo, you can use that Shippo review number and put that here and it'll link the projects together. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that section. So we'll hit save. And now we need our project attachments. Let me just show you, if you try to submit the project before it's finished, it will show you all of the required information necessary for the submission and what you're missing. So you can see we have that the form field fields are entered, the agency project finding has been selected, there are no in-progress resources, but we need a project location, a PDF attachment, and two JPEG attachment photos. And all of this information about requirements is also located on our web website under ICRIS guidance. And that gives you a very detailed look at what you need to submit a project to Shippo using ICRIS. Okay, so the project attachments, one of the things we need is a cover letter. So we're going to go ahead and select our cover letter. And then you need to choose that it's a cover letter from the dropdown. Our other 
options are agency form or a DOSE, um, a SHPO response, a project finding, a photo, or another. But we'll hit save on cover letter, and that's been uploaded. And you'll see a list of attachments. So if you have multiple, they'll populate here in an easy to read format. Now we need our two project photos. So we've got these two, and unfortunately, um, you can't upload multiple yet. So you're just gonna have to do them one by one. And there we go. You can pop them out to make sure it's the photo you need. And you can delete them using these little icons. Okay, now we need our project location. So I'm gonna zoom to it by typing in the address bar, Rexburg, Idaho. And I'm gonna go to my project location which is this little crosswalk here, Main and Center Street. And I'm just totally making this up. So um, we'll just say that the location is within this polygon and then double click to in the polygon to 0 0.25 miles. And then we'll hit okay. Now for this particular project, we're going to say that whoever did the work on this project said that there were no properties or no effect because it's just a minor crosswalk improvement. Um, and so there are no resources and there are no surveys necessary for this particular project. Okay, now that I have everything, I should be able to submit the project. Now, if for any reason, when you go to submit a project as a consultant to your lead agency and they return it, say if you need better photos, um, you can make the proper edits that you need to, and then you can just resubmit it. So when I hit submit, as a consultant that's working on this, it's gonna to go to the lead agency, which is in this example, the Idaho De Transportation Department. So I'll hit submit. And then that project is gonna to go to the Idaho Transportation Department. And now, as you can see, it's in this particular person's work queue at the Idaho Transportation Department. So we'll open that project, check it to make sure everything looks good. And if we approve, we can submit the project to Shippo. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video, and there will be others, so stay tuned.